Wait, who are you? Judith. Judith Wilson? High school? Well, 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 why am I... Do you know why I pulled you over today, ma'am? No, officer, I do not. We're zoned for 30 here. Oh, and I was doing more than that. I'm so sorry that won't happen again. <laughs> what are you two doing way out here? Uh, we're just two high school buddies who uh, want to reconnect with nature, you know? Just get out of the city, wrestle some antelope, howl at the moon, you know the stuff. Could you step out of the car for me, please? Hey, look, no, can I just level with you for a sec? My friend here, my good friend Adam, Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest, we haven't seen each other in a dog's age. But I woke up, I go and see my good friend Adam, I knock on his door and, and there's no answer, which is weird because, I mean, the Adam that I know, he doesn't do shit. Tuesday morning, he's either home or, you know, something's real wrong. So I yell some more and stuff and, and there's no answer, which is weird, right? So I do what any good friend would do and I, I kick the door down. Ma'am, are you admitting to breaking and entering? No. No, I'm admitting to saving a life. But between you and me, kicking that toy down is really fucking sweet. You know. Anyway, I kicked his door down, and, and, and what do I find but my good friend Adam here? Sprawled on the floor, head in the oven, stomach full of booze and pills. And uh, so I did what any good friend would do, and I drove him straight to the hospital when I pumped his stomach or whatever, and they told me I needed to keep him far away from anywhere he could hurt himself. Do you got any proof of this? Proof? Uh... Yeah, proof. <laughs> So, I guess I should say thank you. If you want. Oh, uh, before you do, though, you should know the hospital part was a lie. I didn't take you to a hospital. Why? Can't stand the fucking places. All the pills I took. I did my best. I'm sorry about your head. I was trying to get it out of the oven, and, uh... You do know that only works if you turn it on, right? Why did you drive me all the way out here? I don't know, it was this place we went when we were kids, and I just figured if I was having a breakdown, I'd want to go there. Well, what makes you think I'm going to have a breakdown? Dude, there's a full 40 of Jack. Can we stop? Okay, we're like 10 minutes to I need to get out now! No, no. But, but yeah, yeah. Fuck, I, I don't know. Nothing like home good dare to get to old melancholy. When did you get back? Not really back, I'm just here. How far is this walk gonna be? 15 minutes, maybe an hour. Might be two hours. You ever come out here? Not really. I haven't been out here since that time we were kids. Did we get fucked on something that night? Like acid or something? Among other things. Do you still do that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, probably a bit too much. I, sh I should probably stop. Do you want some right now? I've got a bunch of stuff under your seat. Jesus, how can you have all this? Emergencies. Let me go on, grab some. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot. You probably shouldn't. I mean, you did throw a bunch of it up. The fuck are you, my mom? Okay. Toss me one. <laughs> I 
How is your mom? Fine. I mean, not fine. The opposite. Like, everything's fucking falling apart. But there's nothing anyone can do. So, like, fine, you know? Yeah, I know. Dad gets upset. He doesn't get that this is normal. But this really is the most normal thing a person can do. Die. And mom's pretty lucky. She's getting close to 70, so she's, she's had a, a life. Some people don't even get that. See, this is what I mean. Two old friends out in nature. Are we friends? Yeah, sure we are. We haven't talked since you left. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not blaming you or anything. I could have called you, but I didn't. I just think after 10 years of not speaking to each other, we're probably not friends. Besides, all we ever did was get fucked up and just whine about being in the closet. We can get fucked up and whine about mortgages and health insurance. So, uh, what are you doing these days? How's the dating life going? It's not really going at all. With Bob, it's not really a good time. How about, how about you? I'm married. You're married? <laughs> For how long? Four years. What? I can't believe I didn't know. It's pretty quiet. My parents know. Fuck. What else do I know about you? <laughs> do you have kids? We're, um... Ah, not really. What does that mean? It means... We were going to. What happened? <laughs> oh. Is it, is, is everyone okay? The baby was dead when they took her out of Lucy. I'm sorry. I'm, huh. no, that's terrible. Not a big I'm, deal. I'm so sorry. Lucy was the one who wanted kids anyway. You could try again. Nah. So I don't like nothing, this stuff, you know? We blew all our funding on this one anyway. How long ago did this happen? I don't know if I want to tell you that. <laughs> you're gonna think I'm a shitty person. No, I won't think you're a shitty person. It's very sweet of you, but I am one. Yeah. It, uh, happened yesterday morning. Yeah. I watched them take her out, and then I got in the car, and I didn't wait for Lucy to wake up, and I didn't take my cell phone with me because I guess I'm a massive, selfish bitch. That's not true. Yeah, it is true. No, that's... She was your kid, too. You would... You oh, would... Don't touch me. A plate of fire. Didn't you want to find that, that place? We'll get there. It's not even dark. Right now, I just want to watch something burn, you know? So, wait, you, you came to see me because your baby died? Not because you wanted to see me? No. I mean, yes. But 
I came to see you because you're the last person that I remember feeling really, like, safe with. It sounds dumb, but... I can't... I knew I could be as shitty or as disappointing or as whatever around you, and, and you wouldn't make me feel bad about it because we're kind of the same, right? Like... And I'm in love with Lucy. Just sometimes it's really hard to relax around her. She wants me to be better Judith, which is great. But whenever I'm being better Judith, it just feels like there's a part of me that I'm leaving behind. And, and honestly, whenever I'm better Judith, it just, I'm not any happier than regular Judith. So I may as well come out here and waste my life here, right? You think I'm wasting my life? I didn't say that. You, like, you get it, right? You get me. I'm not a bad person. I know that. Because I'm sort of feeling like you came to see me because you thought I would condone your bad behavior because I also behave badly. But I'm... I have an understanding of difficult situations. I'm not a bad person. I know you're not. Feeling better? Yeah. Now that you said I'm not a bad person. So, if you try to have a baby the the modern way, let's call it, and it doesn't work, you still have to pay for it. Yep. Aren't the straights worried we're gonna make the species die out? <laughs> <laughs> you think they'd be grateful for the help? Oh, and it's so easy for them. They do it by accident. Don't see wild. Knowing that every time you fuck, you could accidentally create life. Seems like a lot of responsibility. Isn't that crazy to think? If we wanted to, if we were made different or whatever, we could be creating life right now. Here, under the stars tonight. I'd like to make a baby under the stars. Why don't hospitals offer that? For an extra fee, we'll inseminate you out in nature like God intended. The baby I helped make? What would we call a desert baby? Cactus? No. Canyon. Echo. Echo? Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. I'd be happy with Echo. Yeah. I'm happy you made me throw up the pills. Are you? Happy? Right now, I'm happy. I didn't think I'd be happy ever again. I'm glad I lived to be happy again. That's, uh, yeah, I'm glad you feel good. I was worried a little bit, you know, that uh, you'd be angry that I stopped you, you know? But uh, it was tough a little, I'm trying to you know, make the right choice and still uh, do the right thing, do it fast. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> oh, shit. Are you okay? I think I need a little water. How you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah, thanks. Cool. How would you feel about taking some acid and heading out with me to find this place I remember? I'm, I'm pretty fucked up. You're, you're not fucked up? I'm sorry, I can't concentrate. I am so... What is that word when you're really thirsty, but instead of water, you want acid? I don't think there is such a word. Well, and suddenly that. No, 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 thank you. Not even for the old days. No, no, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm good now. And I don't, I don't think you should take that either. If something were to happen... Nothing's gonna happen. Oh, I don't think we should go waltzing off into the desert either. It's dark. We don't know what's out there. Where are you? Your mom all of a sudden? Could you just check for me? I don't even know what this place looks like. It's around. It's right around here. You can just walk for a bit. It's got a water. And, and then... A big rock. Yeah, I'm not leaving you here. I'm fine. It hasn't even hit me yet. Yeah, right. 
my mom is never going to know me as anything but a disappointment. It doesn't matter what I do with the rest of my life. She's not going to know about it. Jude? Would you like to hold her? Don't you want to hold your daughter? You had one job. You were just supposed to live. Just lie in Lucy's arms, make her a fucking mom. How hard is that? I mean, how hard is it to make sure that you don't have your cord wrapped around your fucking neck? Don't you want to hold your daughter? Fuck off! Adam! Adam! I'm sorry I stopped talking to you. I didn't mean to cut you out of my life. I didn't want to cut you out of my life, but it was just so hard to be better around you. I was trying so hard to be better. I thought that we were bad together, but we'd be fine on our own. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're back now. I went out looking for you. Are you okay? You're alive. I gotta take you to the hospital. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Tomorrow, we can take each other. Hey. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. I wanted to ask you something about this morning, if it's not too soon. I'm still pretty drunk. I'm happy. It's not too soon. Do you remember going? Like, before I made you puke, do you remember going? Dying? Yeah. A little. It's coming back. What's it like? Dark. Quiet. If it's just nothing, you can tell me I'm not scared of it. No, 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 no. It's, it's not nothing. It's like sliding into deep water. Or no, it's like the drive out into the desert. Slow, slow. And at first you don't notice anything, but the streetlights start to get farther and farther apart. And the cars sort of thin out until you're the only one left on the road. Right ahead of you is this, this pulsing, empty, quiet, breathing around you, existing around you, apart from you, but with you at the same time. It's like a womb. Exactly. I, I mean, I don't remember my mom's womb exactly, but it would be nice if it was the same, wouldn't it? Symmetrical. Cosmic. <sighs> Too bad babies don't remember anything. Some parts of them do, I think. Conscious brains don't remember everything, but I think baby brains catch the important stuff. Warmth. Safety, people's voices, love, 
I hope so. Fuck, I hope so. Thank you.